have another toy. The other one that I did a review on, this was a toy. But what about this big giant thing? I don't think this is considered a toy, but this is a hand crank generator. Produce about 20 watt. How much amperage can this produce? But the problem is, when I got this by mail, this is all in Chinese. Well, I'm glad there's some English lettering. 20 watt, 3, 5, 6, 9, 12, 15 V. I can read that, but I can't read the other Chinese. Common sense would dictate that this is the handle to crank your charging device. Two USB port here, and some red and black type alligator clip. I think you have to stick some kind of a metal wire to connect to your device. Look at that. I got some port vents here. The back handle. You can, you can turn the crank on the bottom. Look at that. And on the inside, I can see a small generator. Okay. What is this? Is that a danger symbol? Ooh. I need to find out before I start using this. I don't want this to start exploding or destroy my devices. Alright, let's go to the website and see if there's any English instruction manual. Let's do this. Okay, 20 watt manual hand crank charger. Okay, I, I got that. Metal, blue, 20 watt, 2000 RPM per minute, 3 volts at 6.6 .6 amp, 5 volts at 4 amps, 6 volt 3.3 amps, 9 volt 2.2 amp, 12 volt 1.6 amp, 15 volt 1.3 amps. Alright, so this one could charge cell phone, USB night light, USB fan, power bank. Durable metal casing, suitable for all field environment, suitable for all field operation, field trip, rescue operation, natural disaster, survival training, and emergency. Wow. Side note, the faster the rocking power, the higher the generation of the power and voltage. Rocking power? What do you mean? Shake the generator output voltage must be bigger than the setting voltage to regulate the output voltage. Please adjust the voltage to 5 volt before you use the USB interface. Shake the generator? Is that what you want me to do? Shake the generator to produce voltage? The faster the rocking power, the faster shake, the more power and the more voltage. Let's do this. Nothing's happening. Coming for you. Shake my butt. They probably want me to rock the handle and shake the handle. working at all. Woo, that noise. I don't hear any giant noise. I don't hear any nasty sound. Now I like this one. But does it generate any power? Okay, I'm gonna turn off my phone. I'm gonna start cracking this device. Oh, it's charging. Is it really charging? What does it say? I can't see. I can't see. What does it say? Does it say 5 volt? 10 volts? I can't see. I have to put it on the table. Okay, okay, I'm gonna put the phone this way. Oh, there we go. I, I, I feel the resistance. It's fighting against me. It's fighting. It's battling. It's fighting. It's, it's getting hard. It's getting hard. It's, it's, it's creating a lot of force and resistance. It's hard for me to turn. The connected charger will take a lot of time to charge. Estimate time to charge is 18 minutes. Well, my battery power right now is 87%, so it takes about 18 minutes to to charge it by continually cranking this uh, a handle. Not bad, but I don't feel I don't see any power indicator or power wire or nothing. I, I, how much power am I outputting? So that I don't know. Now this is very impractical to hand crank and holding it one hand like this. Is there another way to do it? Oh, I I can't even crank it in my body. Look at this. The handle is too big. No, I can't do that. Maybe you have to put it on a table? Alright, I got it on the table. So let's do this. How can
can I crank this thing on the table? It got four legs. I can't crank it. The handle's too long. Oh, maybe on the edge of the uh, table. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Now we're talking. How do I know if it's charging? I don't see any red wire or any light popping up. I don't see anything. Okay, there it goes. It's, 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 uh, it's charging now. I see the uh, the charging meter. Well, the handle is very smooth. It turns very nice. It doesn't take a lot of force to do it. What happens if I spin it very fast? Spinning this thing fast doesn't really show anything. But what if I spin it slow? Oh, there it goes. It's, it's, it's charging. Charging 35 minutes. Estimate time to full. So I'm at 84%. Takes about 35 minutes to keep it like this. Well, I don't know if I can do that. Well, if I'm out in the Goonies or if there's a forest fire or something disaster happening, Armageddon, the whole town is collapsing. I think this would be a good idea to have in hand with you, but this thing is too big. How do you put this in your pocket? Or if I was carrying a backpack, it's going to take a lot of space and a lot of room for a 20 watt. Probably better for me to carry this around than this big giant lug. I think maybe the best thing to leave this is at home. All right, let me bring out my USB charging meter. This device will indicate how much power is outputting. How can I see how much power voltage is showing on the screen when it's backward? See the screen's right here and it's not up here. So. That means I have to crank it upside down. It doesn't matter. Let's do this. Okay, it's uh, producing uh, 5 volts. Okay, what happened if I spin it fast? Okay, if I spin it fast, it's 5 volts, 0.449 amps. So it doesn't matter if I spin it any faster, it's stuck at 0 0.4, 0 0.2. I can feel the resistance of the handle, but when that happens, it's not very consistent. It doesn't let me lock onto the resistance. It just slips away. When it slips away, it, it becomes loose, but then uh, I want to get that resistance going. It's so hard. Okay, it says it can power on the USB fan, so let's find out. Oh, look at that. It does spin and work. See, can you see the fan blowing my hair? Oh, look at that. It spins very fast. 5 volts, 0.2 amps. What about a USB light? Let's try it. Ooh, look at that. It's pretty bright. Okay, so I don't really need to turn the handle that, that, uh, that fast or that hard. Just Continuous like this. It doesn't take that much work. Wow, look at that bright light. Very neat. What else I can charge? Well, what about the portable power bank? This is the, at 94%. So let's see if I can charge it. Okay, so it looks like it's blinking. It's charging now. Oh wow, now this one, I can feel the uh, resistance. I can feel the handle holding back. It's fighting back at me and it has a lot of force and resistance. So, very consistent. Makes me wonder what the amperage is, so let me put the amp meter. Okay, so if I keep it consistent like this, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 amp, not bad at all. So it's more practical to charge a USB power bank. But doing this for a long time, I don't think I can do it in 5 minutes. After 5 minutes of doing this, man, my arm would be very tired and sore and cranking. Whew. But in emergency situation, emergency use, I'm going to have to take it as is. Okay, so if I were to compare this to this, I'd rather take this anytime. But the portability, this has a better portability, but the noise and the power it generates, mm, I'm gonna have to bring this with me in the car or somewhere, but I can't put it in my backpack. It's uh, too impractical, too big, too bulky, and the big long handle. The big long handle you can remove by taking out the screws, so the handle comes right off. 15 volts at 1.1 amperage. I want to test it out with a car battery. Let's do this. Here it is, a 12 volt car battery. Let's see if this thing can power this up. So I got my digital volt ohm meter right here. So let me see what the uh, uh, voltage is at right now. Measuring at 12.48 volts. Okay, let's see if the portable hand crank charger can power this up. So let's see if it works. Oh, look at that, 12.51. And the uh, resistance of the handle is, is not, that, not as bad, 12.52. Twelve point five three. I'm surprised. It's charging the uh, the battery. Twelve point five four. Wow, this thing is, is working. 
<sighs> but my hand's getting tired. 159. Come on, almost there. Almost there. My arm, my arm, my arm. My arm, oh, oh, oh my arm. Oh, 26, 25, 26. 26. 26 volts. Well, we know that it's working, so you're gonna have to crank this for 15, 20 minutes of charging. If you have a low battery, trying to start your car, this will work. My overall impressions. I really like this device. There are people out there who doesn't know how to use this portable hand crank charger and they might break their electronic device. So be careful if you were to put it at 9 volts, 12 volts and 15 volts to charge a little small portable device like this or your phone because it can destroy it or break your phone or something bad's gonna happen. It might also damage the portable hand crank charger too. So make sure you know what you're doing. Information on the website did not really help at all. It tells me to shake the device and rock it as much as I can to power up the device, but <laughs> don't follow that, guys. Don't follow that. You don't shake the device to give it super power, ultimate power. You crank it like this. That's how you get power. I'm a superhero that has unknown superpower. Can this portable hand crank generator power me up? Ah, ah. Let's do this. <laughs> Power! Absolute power! Alright guys, this is a very cheap, good quality device. Can charge your portable devices. Can charge your power bank, fan, light. The phone is impractical, it doesn't, it's not very consistent charging the phone. So it's better to charge your power bank with this and then use your phone from the power bank. And it's portability, it is portable but it's too big and bulky so you can't put this in your backpack. You might have to lung it around setting it on the side. Alright, thanks for watching this review and we'll see you next time.